Hey everyone, Martin here and welcome to the channel. So today I want to do uh, a quick sort of uh, video today. Um, I had an email recently from a subscriber asking which kind of batteries I would recommend for speed lights. So I thought it would be a good idea to just throw up a video uh, and do a comparison test in with flashes uh, so you guys can make up your own mind. And um, So in today's video what we're going to do is we're going to pit up uh, my usual battery that I use which are the Sanyo Eneloops. Um, which are a phenomenal batteries. These are the 2000 milliamp version. And um, we're gonna put this up against uh, a typical alkaline battery. In this case, this is a, a Duracell Plus Power. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? I mean, the, the Duracell Bunny, badass little bunny, and as far as the adverts go, it never gets beaten, right? Well, let's put these in some flashes and then uh, we'll find out which of these two uh, are better. Let's have a look. Right, so let's get on and test these bad boys out. So obviously on the right hand side here, we've got uh, the Duracell batteries. So if we just quickly throw these in a speed light here a sec um, and get this set up. So there's the Duracell alkaline batteries in the right hand uh, speed light. And if we just take the inner loops here and put them in the left hand side one. Let's get these thrown in here. There we go. So that's the inner loops in the left hand flash. So we've got inner loops on the left, the alkaline Duracell batteries on the right. Um, both flashes set at full maximum power and zoomed into 105 mils. Um, so let's uh, fire these off and see the comparison between the two types of batteries. Um, so here we go. Um, so there we go. So about three seconds and the analog loops have recharged, ready to go again. And the Duracells took around about sort of eight or nine seconds to uh, be ready to refire again. So if we just set that off again, just so you can see again. So three seconds again for the inner loops ready to fire again and the Duracell's going on and on and on. Nine seconds later, the, uh, the second flash with the alkaline batteries is ready to go. Um, so do it once more just so you can see it once more. So without fail, three seconds and it's ready to go again with the rechargeable inner loops. And 3000 years later on the alkalines and there's the Duracells ready to go again. So there's a big difference between the, the batteries as far as uh, recycling times on the flashes go. Now, the Duracells, you know, they're, they're good batteries, but when it comes to high drain um, and high current consumption by flashes, um, the rechargeable Analoops win hands down. So there we have it. The Analoops uh, kick the bunnies backside. Um, you know, the Analoops, as you can see in the, in the video there, you know, twice as quick at recycling the flash in comparison to the, the alkaline batteries. Um, you know, and it, from a cost perspective, the, the Analoops are a lot better as well. You know, eight double A uh, Duracell batteries are gonna set you back four pounds. Um, eight uh, double A Analoop batteries are gonna set you back 15 pounds. So they're about four or five times more expensive. But when you consider you can recharge the Analoops, you know, anything up to 1500 times. Uh, and when you consider after about six or seven recharges, you know, you've made your money back on what AA alkaline batteries would have cost you in the first place. And the good thing about the Eneloops, which, um, you know, I thought was really top notch, is that Sanyo guaranteed the Eneloops that once you fully charge the battery, it'll hold its charge for, for up to two years, it would still have 75% of its charge, which is uncommon for rechargeable batteries. After a few months, they tend to completely decharge themselves. At least that's my experience, but there's some other well-known brands out there and um, like energizer ones and things i've had some problems with those um, and i ended up going with the inner loops on the recommendation from a strobus friend of mine who swears by them and you know since using them uh, since i've started using you know the the flashes um you know i can't recommend enough to anyone um they're just a no-brainer as far as batteries go um i'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think if you use the inner loops uh, what do you think of them or if you find uh, another rechargeable battery that uh, you think oh you know just as good um, i'd love to hear about it so please post below and um, please subscribe if you want to see future videos uh, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video thanks a lot speak to you soon bye bye